Hello, everybody, and welcome back here to the stream. My name is Jackson of Pride Brown, joined alongside Daniel Jobin. It's going to be your St. Clair Saints and Queens Gales moving on game number two here of our NECC Valorant action, and it is going to be a great start for St. Clair, 13-9 win over to Queens, and they're looking to keep the momentum going here as we do head into Haven in just a couple minutes. Yeah, Icebox is an absolute joy to watch, and seeing how St. Clair came from 113 against Carlton to 13-10 to now just showing like vast improvement in one week and say we, we knew Icebox was one of their stronger maps but man those post plants and those retakes from st Clair were unbelievable yeah i spent a lot of time this weekend in the scrims with the valorant team and just you know watching them play uh lots of practice came through on maps like haven and breeze those are our maps two and three yeah. in the series so uh yes the icebox win is nice to get under the belt early on but now you have these maps two and three to come these are maps they're a little bit less familiar with a mm -hmm. little bit less experienced on and things that they've been working a lot on the back end so i'd really like to see like you were saying improvement to come through on these maps here we'll see how this one does play through it is going to be players i'm looking out for perfect specimen and osco made massive impacts last game osco once again going to be playing chamber and that is really something that rings my bell on my mind that he should be someone we're keeping an eye out for uh because he had a phenomenal game last game he's used the chamber util and the uh, sheriff the op whatever it is yeah. all to his advantage so so well that i think it's going to be happening once again here in this matchup yeah and because haven is a lot better map for those those short range like uh quick teleports that he has and for his slows he's gonna have a lot more use out of his utility and not just his guns this time so chamber is a lot more of a like, has a lot more utility on haven than like i somewhere like icebox so i was seeing a mirror match from both teams so we should see a lot of the same strategies coming out from both sides i would imagine well and hybrid coming in instead of v can yeah. now so that is something i also want to point out uh with this valorant roster i know i've talked about it a little bit before uh this semester they are going to be doing lots of changes depending on agent selections and map selection everything in that regard so we do actually see hybrid coming in playing the Astra nice, over nice. Okay. and coming in and playing the Astra, right? Hybrid overall, this Astra player for Haven here Next tonight, and is going to look to value them in that regard. I mean, it's going to be more beneficial to have an Astra here than a Viper. Yeah, Astra absolutely necessary on Haven. You have to lay the stars though for each of the walkers. As you see, your Lupo going to dash and immediately look for a pick. That gravity suck. Gonna, the gravity will going to pull in Lupo and Unlabel will get the kill. Jumping right click from Tripwires. That was a six shot Lupo. We'll trade him out. Zed and Blossom will trade out as well. Absolute pandemonium. And St. Clair will get the better of it and go up th and get the plant down to get some extra money as well. They'll take pistol round with ease. Yeah, it was trades after trades after trades until it wasn't. St. <laughs> Clair just cleaning it all up from there. Spectre buys coming in from everybody on the side of the Saints. If you go look at the Queens at Gales, though, I don't think they're going to be spending a whole lot of money here. They haven't spent anything yet. Maybe the 200 on their shorty, uh, but I don't think you're going to be seeing a whole lot other than that invested. Some light armor on Perfect Specimen. He's actually just going to instantly sell that, knowing that he doesn't really have a whole lot of money for it. And um, St. Clair should be able to get a two-round lead after this one. Yeah, this is a round you, you have to have. If they're, have to, if they're yeah. not going to buy anything and they're going to go full classics again, you have to take this round. You can't let them go no buy at all and win the round. Yeah, Osco getting aggressive. The will actually force the chamber to TP early on. I think that's Casper on the chamber here from St. Clair. Lupo already on C site, which is very big for St. Clair to just have this much control early on. That will be a dog onto Zed in Garage. Casper finding two. Perfect Specimen will get a swing and a right click to clean that kill up, though. So four on three in St. Clair's favor. And the bomb down. Queens looking to retake. Yeah, St. Clair total site control. Bomb down. Everything they need right now. They just have to hold this strong. Keep lock on the angles. Try to stop Tripwires from walking any longer. Blossom Ooh. with a little flick and look away, it looked like. It wasn't sure if he killed Tripwires. We'll get traded up by Specimen. 3v3. Oh, Specimen will take out Hybrid. Blossom will trade out Zed. And Wombat with a perfectly timed Shock Dart to take out Specimen. St. Clair once again, 3 up, 201. Yeah, Blossom. I mean, he, it doesn't matter if he's not on the race. He is just cracked lately. Yeah. Uh, it's been a 4-1, uh, 4 kill, 0 death start for him with an assist on the board as well. No complaints in that regard. It is going to be at Queens with 5 rifles, full armor, and full util though. This is where things start to become a little bit sticky for St. Clair. You have 3 specters, a sheriff, and a vandal going up against a strong buy like this from Queens. Going to make things very difficult, but we will see what happens. Here we go in round number 3. Yeah, we do got Casper on the hero rifle, so St. Clair looking to just take 2 or three of these rifles out of Queen's Gale's hand at the, at the best. Blossom will go into Trailblazer, trying to get some information so they know that they're hung up on A right now. They're going to have to, a little bit of split push into sewers and ramp here. Tripwires will get that top spot and take out Lupo. Oh. Takes out three, three headshots for Tripwires and St. Clair just cut down at the knees entering site. Yeah, that was a phenomenal round there from the start of Tripwires, but it's been Casper able to trade out a few picks, but now he's just going to get swarmed onto the site. Cleaned up. Zed will be there for that one. Queens is on the board with their first round after 
Joker 3, and a uh, good answer back overall. It's going to be St. Clair, though, able to get a buy here now. I mm -hmm. do think they do. Yeah, have, I would they think have, so. Yeah, they have enough for the rifles. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Uh, so, yeah, we do see a lot of the Phantoms and Vandal buys coming through, and this is going to be back to our more competitive rounds, as both teams will be here with a full buy. Yeah, that's it. And St. Clair, luckily, able to get two of the rifles out of the hand, so able to, able to cripple the buy a little bit. You would have liked to get another one or two kills, because you're still able to get most of the rifles back. But St. Clair, I say, gonna, looks like a half buy. Ooh, Osco got a teleport up top, similar to where uh, Tripwires was playing last time, so I wonder if St. Clair will be prone to it this time. Bladestorm will go online for Tripwires, so something to look out for as well. Blossom will try to get some info with the Trailblazer. Tripwires running up and will catch Blossom in the Trailblazer. Perfect timing and dashes away. No harm, no foul. If you're Blossom there, you're really just not expecting a jet to run up on you like that so yeah. far, so early in the round as well. The aggression from Queens are really paying off in that regard. It is going to be Lupo and now getting pinged out as well. So they have the intel on him. They have the intel that it's going to most likely still be at aim presence. Uh, so it is going to result in St. Clair all falling off here now and making their way back over towards his B to C side. But Osco oh. is going to be in such a good position to cut off this flank. Lupo going to go down. Yes, he will get slowed. Wombat not able to swing fast enough though. And it's going to be Osco able to sneak away. A big shock dart going to do some damage onto him, but nothing uh, nothing drastic. Yeah, super methodical, slow, just patient, well-executed round for Queensgale so far. St. Clair just kind of, let's say, perfect angles from Osco, just kind of getting caught out of out of sorts here. St. Clair going to have to try to group up here and make some kind of push, because the way Queensgale's positioned, circling them right now like a bunch of piranhas, they're, they're not looking, this positioning is not good. This is not strong. No, it is uh, a very tough position to be in for St. Clair. Like you were saying, it's been uh, Queens able to just almost circle them out and just all uh, force them into this mid position where they can't really get a whole lot of control. So I think B site is going to be the easiest one if they do actually want to move up towards it. And Casper does look to try to take some control over here. There's only a 12 seconds. I mean, B site's their only option here. Yeah, and at this point, yeah, have you still have to play. You have to do something. Yeah, you got to make it a break right now. Casper gonna look for kills though. St. Clair not getting the bomb down. Oscar will take out Hybrid. Striker takes out Wombat. St. Clair with Casper will trade one out, but that was a uh, like why a questionable play yeah. for sure coming mm -hmm. through. Uh, not planting the bomb. Maybe they thought if they, you know they were getting immediate pressure, it would have just collapsed if they try to get the plant down right away. Uh, overall, it is gonna be Queens able to force that one out and find another round win after the first four. It's gonna be a tie game two to two here between these two teams. St. Clair having a really rough go on the offense start. We saw them on Icebox start on the defensive side, and then they had a little bit of a slower time on the def or on the, their offense. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so we do see you know with St. Clair starting on the offense here in Haven, it's not been easy for them. Yeah, and although Haven does have the three sites, each one of the three sites has a pretty narrow window to get inside, so all three of the sites are pretty tricky to get on. And I think Tripwires is now on. He knows Blossom likes to trailblaze in sewers every time, and now he's on to it. The first time he actually took Blossom out, and the second time, immediately gets rid of the trailblazer. So I think Queensgale's making great adjustments to St. Clair's early game, trying to get information. And now, just like I said, once you said, you want to get St. Clair running around, because right now, not, not a definitive push yet, trying to burn some utility and get some information. Casper does have the Tour de Force online, so they might lead, they might lead in and follow behind him with get that Sky Flash out but St. Clair gonna look they're gonna commit between B and C into garage here not sure oh hybrid gonna get stuck in the gravity well unable to get the kill on Zed gonna get picked up St. Clair 5v4 and once again forced back into the middle with no sight control as of yet although B does look like there's a possibility for an opening if they decide to take it but nothing as of yet and once again just letting the clock tick without any real push yet or any real plan of action it looks like B is so hard to take over yeah. just because you can get pinched from every which angle and it just makes things very difficult to hold all of those angles and so we do see it actually come through though and actually Huge. won that lineup too Osco and Perfect Expressman both going down before he does get a little too aggressive and will get cleaned up from Zed but this does put St. Clair in into a three on three. That is a big alt there from the sky, at least getting a little bit of intel on where these players are located. You do see Casper trying to go for that aggressive swing on the chamber alt and uh, trying to find some sort of a kill over there. Blossom will take down Zed and Casper still trying to find something, but Blossom able to clean it all up. That's three for him and St. Clair now with the one round advantage. I feel like we've said this guy's name so many times at this yeah. point, but man, just play after play on different agents, getting, that's a great job using the Seekers, because even though if they immediately shoot them, it's like, hey, now I know exactly where he is on B, and he's going to have to rotate out of his spot, or we're going to charge him with flashes, and we're going to go kill him. Yeah, it's it worked out perfectly there. You, you know, you see the side of Queens right now, they're 
struggling a little bit to to answer to those, eh? and it really just allowed Blossom to open things up. They're really just having a tough time shutting down Blossom, because Blossom, yes, like you were saying, they did find out what he was doing, and that he was just going to run right into that sewers position most times, but regardless, I mean, Blossom switched it up, and he's still able to find kills doing other things here now, which is Ooh. really, really big for him. Lupo barely speaking Ooh. by with that jet smoke. That Guardian is no joke either. That was Lupo is lucky to have walked away with his life there. Yeah, ever since I saw Casper's clip yesterday with the Guardian 1v5 and scrims, it has just been Guardian central I, for me personally lately. Guardian, I think you said it caught buff, didn't you? Honestly, it was a huge buff that no one really talked about. The gun, it feels twice as good as it did before, and it already used to one shot in the head. Just those first two shots have a lot more accuracy, and I, I'm surprised we haven't seen more players use it. It's cheaper than a Vandal, and it packs more of a punch. It's like, that's I call it the Op Junior, because of how strong it is. Yeah, I think it's just so much of a different type of weapon than all of these other guns that it's really going to be, uh, uh, you know, very interesting to use and that is going to be exactly why it's so strong the guardian headshot will take down wombat there hyper though able to clean things out and now a four on three for st Clair. osco trying to flank but blossom over towards b is going to provide to be such an asset to st Clair here right now really distracting out these astro sky slowing down queens retake and st Clair now in a four on two and in great position to find their round number four yeah, I can't say it enough. The adjustments on both teams have been incredible. We know, like I said, Osco ran around and flanked, got a couple kills before. St. Clair, now privy to that. Cut him off before he can get through mid. Zed gonna get... Oh, no flash gonna come in. Casper will pick up Specimen, though. And he'll pick up another. St. Clair will pick up the round, only losing one in the process. Great round for St. Clair. They take a lead 4-2. to two. Gotta say, I'm very happy what I'm seeing from St. Clair yeah. tonight. You know, there obviously has been a few of those minor mistakes, and it has cost them a couple rounds, and it's been very, very sketchy, but uh, so they've been playing a lot better in this week than they did last week, and they played a lot better last week than they did in the previous season or in the NECC preseason. It's just the constant improvement is what makes me so happy to see where this roster is actually headed and to see where their future lies, because it, they could definitely be winning a national championship in the next year and a half yeah, like, and we, with all this work they've been yeah, we know mechanics are always need to be worked on, but the decision making for St. Clair has been what's really stuck out to me. They've just been playing so much smarter and more fundamentally sound. Tripwires will get the wall bang on Lupo. Gonna take out one early. St. Clair gonna be down a man to start the round. And now, once again, this is the spot we saw them before a couple times where the bomb's down. They're kind of back in mid. No sight control yet. Lost one. And kind of they're gonna have to try to trade out a pick here or really put some force utility onto a site here. I think the St. Clair really has a tough time trying to find out what they want to do after losing a first blood yep. pick. And Casper now falling as well. Going to make that situation from bad to worse. It's going to now be a five on three. Really try to like, it's like St. Clair, what do you do at this point, right? You put your three all towards one site and you're just at such a player's disadvantage. And, uh, you know, Queens can just use those numbers to their advantage for themselves. It is going to be the side of Queens, though, getting aggressive. That Astra Z mm -hmm. in such a good spot up here over towards mid. Yeah, such a strong short corner. You, you're pretty much covered from the long spot. You, can, you can't be seen from window. Tripwires will get flashed out. So St. Clair, going to try to clear out A side here. They're going to have to commit a hard push here because, once again, time is not on their side. It's going to take them at least 15, 20 seconds to get bombed down. Plus, they're going to have to probably clear oh. it out. Great shot by Wombat getting Tripwires on the strafe. St. Clair, that is exactly what they needed to try to clear this side out. Yeah, Zed on the flank is somebody they're going to have to check on momentarily, but oh. no, they don't, and it is Blossom going to get shot down from a distance. Zed tagged at 70 HP, but still able to keep his life. Wombat forced off of a bomb plant, and that is going to be such a good Sova ult coming through. Yeah. Hybrid there to get a trade on Perfect Specimen, but now in a one-on-three, he's in such a tough spot. He's got to try to find some sort of an exit frag or something to kind of help himself out and make this round all worthwhile. Uh, no time to put that spike down, and it does look like even if he can just save this Phantom, him, it'll be valuable, but oh. no, they're going to take him after the round, and I believe that does mean that he gets no economy as well. Yeah, that's that's exactly. Unfortunately, not really much he could do there. You might you try to go for an exit fight, but he knows there's two or three guys on the site. He knows he's probably going to get traded out either way, but yeah, just unfortunate for St. Clair. And like you said, they see when they get picked early, they seem to lose themselves. Even if it's like, if they lose Lupo early, it's like, yeah, you lost a jet, but you still have all your utility. Like, there's no reason you still can't retake a site, even if you don't get a trade out. So yeah, they just need to try to maybe make more of a five stack push and like maybe not try to have Lupo entry as much. Just try to have a full team on site, play retake, and just try to get on there safe and sound. Tripwires will come out with the up again so St. Clair definitely gonna have to keep an eye on that because he was a menace on Icebox with it. Oh 100% uh, and I would not be surprised if he does keep that up here on oh, even as Lupo gonna dash in somehow still alive will and find Zed and has such a good angle on these players over towards CT he's gonna draft on down and will get himself a Phantom here or sorry a Vandal now to work with as well and that is gonna be him trying to find Osco but Lupo will fall Casper on the flank in the garage gonna take down Osco and it will now 
allow St. Clair to have a player advantage. Bomb down as well, forcing Queens to play retakes. Perfect specimens. Position has been revealed now that those Seekers have been used. Dog gonna come through. They do know where the sky is from St. Clair, but the hold is just so good right now. Casper gonna find another pick. Fiery Striker, though, gonna take down two. Casper Blossom both down. Last two of the players down and long. Yeah, St. Clair gonna have to play. A, this is gonna be a really hard retake with that Operator playing long. And now Striker with a third kill. And now the Operator looking down as well. This is looking pretty dire. Oh, we'll get the shot off on Wombat and kill him. The Stark guy will kill him. Will they get the Diffuse? Yeah, oh, they will have time. Yeah, they should have enough time. Yep. Yeah. few seconds left. Yeah, St. Clair. Oh, two seconds. Yeah, just two, two seconds away. Seconds and you win that round there. Uh, but still a great try. And honestly, Tripwires, he was off to a little bit of a slow start in the beginning of that mm -hmm. game one. But towards the end of Icebox, once they moved over to defense, and now with him on the defense here on Haven, it's been a great play style for him. It's, it's, it seems as if he's been getting lots of kills under his belt. And honestly, the side of Queens playing a lot more even here in this game. They're not relying as much on Osco and Tripwires and Perfect Specimen. No, it's more spread out across the board, and Queens is doing more of a team effort. This has allowed them now to put the scoreline at 4-4 after our first eight rounds. It's going to be either team looking to take advantage as we do head into round number nine. Yeah, a couple ultimates online for each side. We have to see which one we'll give here. So Casper going to try to walk in behind the Trailblazer, but not going to make any push. Don't want to get killed off too early or anything. Wombat will get shot through the box. Zed had enough information. That is it. That it hurts for St. Clair. Casper will trade out Osco, though. St. Clair making it a 4v4. Once again, the Blade Storm still online, so oh, definitely have a lot of stuff to work Work with here. Hybrid gonna put up the stars. Tripwire has is on to him there. Lupo will get one with the knives. Zed will trade him out. So 3-3. Three, three. Ultimates could be popped online as well. There is a cosmic divide for each side if they decide to use it. So we'll have to see which team really wants to invest and try to take control of the site here, which it looks like it will be A. Yeah, Tripwire says you're such a good hold to try to shut down Hybrid. I mean, Hybrid, as soon as he tries to peek out of here, he's going to get shot down from mm -hmm. his off, and yep. there it is. Tripwire's with a big one. Going to now put it to a three on two and give Queens that player advantage they like and love. It is going to be an Astra Wall down here as well over towards the site, making things very difficult for St. Clair to try to push in and to try to get some sort of site control as there it is. The entry's there, and they run into the Sova on the back line of site. That is the offer down for Blossom. Blossom going to find a second, taking down Fiery Striker, and this now leaves it all up to the Astra of Queens. They are they, using some yep. util. Look, and have just they have way more, way enough time to get plant down. This is huge for St. Clair. They, I would save the chamber out. No reason to use it. They have they have the sky chamber. I'd have one play heaven, one play hell or backside bomb, and then St. Clair should be able to hold this. You just you have to make sure you trade out. Do not get in a one v one. You have to trade this out if you get in a fight. Yeah, they're not in a good position to trade it out though here, oh. and that is going to be the first one going down. Zed going to be here, but Blossom. Oh my gosh, missing his first few shots. Zed going to have the upper hand on the gunfight. Blossom still able to clean it up. Three K for him and St. Clair there with round win number five here doing a great job of taking the advantage and it is going to be queens now on the back foot once again super super close and i feel like just as you were saying that round regardless of the win should be played a little bit differently you need to have blossom ready for these quick trades yeah, as I, I, regardless, yeah, they were not in position to make the trade, to, to trade each other out, but you have to get into position to do so. You either have to plant on the backside of that bomb and play long behind ramp, because you can literally hide behind the wall and watch bomb. You just listen for the defuse and hide and wait and wait and wait and lurk. Or you have to, so you have to get in there with both of you and try to go for the pick right away. St. Clair, the Tour de Force will come online, so we'll have to see if any... But try to, and the blade sword will come online for, for Queen Gale. So a couple long range engagers. Well, Osco, this is a really strong position though. Will get shots on Casper. Almost missed the first couple, but will get the shot off. That's a huge kill, shutting down the ultimate as well for St. Clair. That chamber TP was also really big. Yeah. He would have been traded out otherwise. Wombat at least will do the job to take down Osco, but Zed also going to find that pick. So it's really going to cause some problems. St. Clair does have a lot of sight control here now. They are trying to regain this hybrid with some big utility. Going to send through on an Astro Wall, I believe that is. Yep. yep. So St. Clair going to have that going for them. Queens, though, with the player advantage could cause some problems. Blossom doesn't know there's a player right down to the left. The Seekers are there. The Seekers are going to pop. It lands on the player. That's a huge one for Blossom. The Seekers helped him out so much. Now Seekers going to chase this player in Garage Window as well. St. Clair have so much intel on these two opponents. Yeah, perfectly timed Seekers. A amazing Cosmic Divide. Oh, just Lupo turns his head the worst second. Blossom gets another one. Hybrid will trade it out. St. Clair will hold the site. 
ultimates do not go to waste. Six to four advantage and great hold by St. Clair. We've been talking a lot about trades and there's a prime example of why. St. Clair closing out that round solely because of their trades. Hybrid was able to come in, find that last kill while the player was distracted. I do want to give credit though to Fury Striker. That was a very good oh, dart yeah. to really kind of like, it's almost like when you're watching and they throw a pistol to try to fake it as a flashbang. Yeah, through the TP. But yeah. Yes, <laughs> but it was, it was this time, you know, one of those Sova darts and it does really distract the member from St. Clair, really throwing off them on that play and it uh, will give the Queen a fighting chance, but St. Clair still going to get the cleanup now. 6-4 and trip wires. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Whoa. Oh, perfect man. shock dart. Perfect. Per oh, so lucky to live with 12 HP. Two amazing shock darts to immediately They're shut him down. Thinking. Oh my god. Queen's Gale's going for a five-man flight. Hopefully St. Clair's aware to it. Wombat does know they're all there oh, now. Wombat's like, oh, guys, yeah, guys. Wombat, help, help, 5A, 5A. It seems like looking like pistol round right now, but St. Clair does get bombed down, does have five alive. They do have advantage in utility, so this should be the not an easy hole, but they definitely have the position to do it. Hey, five alive is a good drink, man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, uh, perfect specimen will take down Casper. That is now going to be Wombat there to get a trade. Four on four as Fury Striker trying to do something to take down these members from St. Clair. But look at Blossom from above. We'll shut down two hybrid for the cleanup. St. Clair was seven rounds in the first half. Still one more to go, and they have guaranteed themselves a lead going into half. That is a textbook Haven A post plant strategy. Set a guy in heaven, cause utility, use the gravity wells to suck people onto the site, and just massacre when they get on there. Every And when you have five people, you're able to trade off every single angle on site. So as long as you have the information, which Wombat, that's why you keep one guy watching the flank. Ooh, like, look at, yeah, trip bars, like running in five-man stack through flank. Like, not something you see often, but Wombat did get enough information to know that they were coming. Because, yeah, St. Clair had five people surprise them. That could have ended very badly, very quickly. Yeah, you see all the replays coming through here. Now, Wombat and Hybrid really opening things up, finding the first two or so big to allow Blossom to go up into heaven and to actually shut down that player from above as well. So now moving on back into the game, it is going to be us in a five on five round number 12 coming through and it is going to be Lupo to try to find the first Osco with one before he does get traded out. Lupo with some big picks. Now with very minimal bullets, going to have some problems. Ooh, Trip Casper wires. picking up two. Lupo yeah. will be low HP. Striker will trade out Lupo. St. Clara does have the early advantage. It's a huge pickup by Blossom to get two kills. Rotation. They're going, oh. they're going B or they're going B or C. And this is gonna be Casper. so big. Casper with another over towards A. I mean, like Casper literally has them trapped in here. You literally follow St. Clair on the way they exited, or go and try to take down Casper. Casper is gonna be getting swung. Casper with the cleanup. I think that was an ace for himself as well. 4K. 4K. Very close. Very, very close. Very, very close. Here we go. But eight to four half. That's going to be a massive half for St. Clair. They won the last half eight to four as well. Yep. And uh, that, if that Lupo, do you want shows us anything, it's going to be that St. Clair is going to have a huge upper hand going into this one. Four rounds is so big in Valorant, yeah. especially at half. And to win the rounds in the fashion they did, look at Blossom and Casper. Just for absolute sure. pop-off moment back to back to back. A 3K when you need it. Hey, clear sight, double kill, triple kill. Just these two guys have been critical in getting picks exactly when it's needed. Yes, and we'll see if it does continue here now in this one. Queen's going to need to step it up a little bit if they do want to keep themselves in this game because St. Clair is already leading the Series 1-0. Another map win, and we are done and dusted out of here. Uh, so, Queen's, now is your time to shine. Now is your time to answer back. It all starts with a pistol round win uh, that you honestly desperately need. If you if St. Yep. Clair wins this pistol, we said it last time too, uh, it's going to be game-changing. Yeah, it's a long road back if you lose pistol down A4. Oh. And Casper will get a huge kill early, and don't, he won't lose too much HP either. The, little, the dart will get a few tight. Oscar with a running right click on hybrid. We'll pick up Casper as well. A great play by Oscar on site. He'll set up that teleport as well to try to make sure he can keep safe. Queen Scales does have the advantage. It looks like they should get bombed down. Specimen will take out Wombat. St. Clair looking for any answer right now because they have not found one so far this round. Yeah, really interesting plays coming through from St. Clair. Just not able to get these cleanups. The frenzy from distance Ooh. will work out for Lupo. Now at least putting it to a 2-on-3. No bomb plant has gone down as of yet either. Queen's rotating this all the way over to yeah. A and forcing St. Clair to play over in that regard. Lupo still hovering around towards Garage looking for some sort of a pick. Osco in mid has such a good cutoff yeah. for rotations. I mean, both St. Clair players not looking to give the time of day though. It does look like they are going to challenge this one through sewers. Yeah, and I say... 
Lupo looking, not a lot of health here, only the Frenzy. So St. Clair, this is a bit of a pipe dream, but they definitely, if they can get a quick trade or they get a good angle, they definitely can do this. But Lupo, like I said, Blossom, going to have to try to get in there, use some utility. They have time against their side and the numbers games. This is going to be really, really tough to retake. Lupo, he will be spotted out. They know where they, they know St. Clair is on site. They're just playing patient. They don't want to give themselves up too early. They know time. Huge shock there. Lupo just escapes with his life, but that might be all they need. Specimen will trade out Blossom. Lupo, one HP, goes down to Osco for the 3k. It's Queen's Gales takes pistol, one they desperately needed, and we have ourselves a game. Yeah, uh, it's going to allow Queen's Gales now to have a much better buy than St. Clair and probably take another round here in this matchup. It's it's going to be, you know, like you were saying, the four specters, a frenzy with full armor for specimen. Uh, it's just going to be so much more valuable than you look at the, you know, regular pistols for St. Clair. You have two shorties, maybe on Lupo and uh, Blossom. But other than that, I mean, you're spending $400 total. Everything should be in favor of Queen's Gales in this round. St. Clair just looking for a few picks. Yeah, it looks like there maybe a five stock on C coming from the side of Queen's Gales and St. Clair going to do a split B and a, or a B and C rather. Queen's Gales that looks like they're going to commit this 5 push. I, I would be, I'd be more than willing to guess. Especially already dashing on the site they will. Huge engagement. Casper will pick up triple R to start the round. St. Clair with a great start to the round. Able to hold the site so far. Osco oh! getting jumped in the corner with a shorty by Lupo. Oh! Awesome 2 with a shorty inside of the Astra Star. Zed will go down. Huge round so far for St. Clair. Okay, shorties, like, since when has that become meta? It is now, as St. Clair will find two. Now in a five on two. Look at the, okay, you look at the buys that we came into this one with, and you would not expect to see what you're seeing right now. You have the Sky needing to heal the Jet and Chamber. Jet, Chamber, and Sky are all, like, 20 HP. Oh, but Casper on the flank, you sneaky, sneaky Ooh. guy, is going to be coming right behind Fury Striker. Fury Striker not too concerned from his mm. right as of yet, but he's going to have to be soon, as it is going to be St. Clair getting ready. Oh my god, Casper. This Huge pinch, fight. the pinch is coming. Oh, Casper, he knows they know he's there. They just have to make the, the swing, swing now. <laughs> just, just make the guys. swing, make the swing. Casper, honestly, I like Casper's play. I mean, they have him completely pinched in this hole. He cannot move. Casper is playing it very, very smart to not get over aggressive there and just hold him back in. But you can see Casper trying to get a little bit of a swing here Ooh. now. Fury Striker going to be making his way up. He does take down Lupo. But now Fury Striker going to get just shot out in the back from Casper. The clean up is there. St. Clair with round win number nine. Queens trailing by four once again. And going thrift shopping in the process. That was a huge right. round for St. Clair. Two jumping shorty kills right away. Just it shut down. The, the initial run by Queen's Gale and just able to hold angles. I will say, I liked how they played really, really smart and paced at the end of the round to not give away rifles, but I would have liked Casper to be a little quicker on the flank because Fiery Striker had no clue he was coming. He was so focused on what was in front of him. I think Casper had a free kill probably 20 seconds before that, but I have to respect the smart decision making because St. Clair, we saw a lot of times they got caught with their pants down too many times, so. Yeah, I mean, 35 kills right now between oh. Blossom and Casper. Uh, just those two absolutely farming things up, just finding so many opening picks. And St. Clair forcing Queens onto a save round here now is going to be so big to St. Clair's success. If they can take a 10-5 to 5 advantage, it would just be so, so big here for them. Wombat will run into Fury Striker early on. Fury Striker going to get spotted out with the drone, so it is going to result in him falling off. And St. Clair still being able to maintain their positioning. And not a lot of map control has been made yet for the side of Queens. Yeah, I think a lot of just trying to get utility burned and get some information out. No one's really, uh, especially when you're Queens girls and you get sucker punched like that running into a site, I would think twice before running in like that again. St. Clair, a little more ready for it this time. A lot, lot more patient push from Queens girl this time. Just a slow, methodical they are going to push up through sewers. The so Lupo will pick up Osco, so Queen Scale is split, and they are down in numbers. So this is going to be an interesting setup for them to try to plant somewhere and get some sort of post-plant strat. Oh, Blossom really trying to open up this B site a little bit more. Is Casper on the flank? Will find himself one. Runs into a second. Will find that one as well. Been so big all game long and continues to make these next level plays. Now we do have Zed going for the play. But look at this play from Lupo. You're a madman. Coming down, jumping in for two. St. Clair with the round win. Number 10, they are on a heater here tonight, Jobin. No stopping them. 10 to 5 advantage, as I was saying. Queens are just looking for an answer at this point. Yeah, Lupo's getting a 50 for that dunk at the dunk contest because that was <laughs> insane. Drop out of heaven like he was sent from the gods above. Quick double kill, clear sight. St. Clair just looking so good right now. This is what opened it all. Casper finding two, giving Lupo the confidence to say, hey, guess what? You're going to plant and dog. I'm going to use this to my advantage. Oh. Hop out of oh. your dog. Hop off the plant because I 
I am going to take the site Lupo shutting things down. Just unbelievable site control from St. Clair. And we are seeing a lot of momentum and a lot of confidence out of these boys right now. And that is something you love to see. Especially after last week. They had great moments, but now they've been able to put together five, six really good rounds in a row, which is huge when you want to go in these economy runs in Valorant. For sure, it's going to be Lupo trying to maybe get aggressive towards A, he will, but perfect specimen is going to use the util of the sky. The flashes on sky are so big to use, and uh, it's going to get legalized on St. Clair there. Ooh. Casper, though, able to get a trade out, and it's now going to put us into a four on four. So both jets are down from either side, and it's going to honestly make things a little bit more difficult for Queens, because having their jet out of this one already is their entry fragger. Yeah, you don't love to see Blossom with that red flashing health, though, as well. That's the only thing. Any little, any little ticket, he's going to be out of there and then they'll be at a huge disadvantage having no sky as well the chamber all does come online maybe to compensate for that to try to get these longer plays but st Clair, that's like down a man got to or actually tied i'm gonna try to figure out what queen scale wants to plan because again no huge dedicated push to his site yet couple guys in garage split soba has bomb not really making his, his presence on osco huge pickup on a hybrid a bit and that should open things up a little bit casper will trade out fiery though so st Clair still holding serve even though they keep getting traded out first and casper he knows he's there gonna back off he got the information he needs now st Clair Claire, gonna have to get ready for this push because I think they know they're coming to be or uh, coming to see now. They just have to make sure they hold these cross angles and don't let them get a free plank. It's only 25 seconds left now. Osco's really scared. He has to come in and grab this bomb soon, but it, it's I understand why it's scary. But the thing is, you have to make a play call because look at the time yeah. remaining. Perfect specimen will make the initial impact play to change everything. Casper falling off his position is going to now trying to line up Huge. a better op shot for himself. He will get traded out. The wombat finding one wombat looking for the last one will get shot out from Osco. The cleanup from Queens as then there and St. Clair will drop around number 16. Good to see the Aries back in uh, fashion for, uh, I think, who was it there? Uh, our Wombat, yeah. Uh, almost got the double kill with the Aries, just unable to clear sight. That would have been huge for St. Clair, but nonetheless, the they Odin. still have a really... Oh, the Odin coming. Upgrade the Aries to the Odin, yeah. Ooh, the, ooh, Casper coming out with the Operator as well on Chamber, which is an interesting uh, decision. Odin combo. I got guys, I got guys. I, I'm really excited to see where Wombat and Casper play. Wombat is going to most likely stick over to... Casper, have you been playing Garage? Never mind, he's going C and to play with his Odin over there. You just kinda okay, I'm not playing. Where we do have Casper going to be actually going into Sewers to play the AWP. This could be uh, interesting to say the least. And, and that's, I was scared yep. right from the beginning with that play call. That's such a tough angle to shoot from that, to shoot from that down angle with the Operator, especially when two are on either side of the door and you have to guess left and right. Oh, huge. Oh, flank coming around. St. Clair, maybe you're going to try to get a flank here on Queen Scale, but they have a long ways to go before that. And it looks like Queen Scale might be that chamber all. You don't, I wouldn't peek that. St. Clair doesn't, they, they know it's online. You have to be aware of that on the flank because that's the sole job of chamber is to slow that backline flank and play that this exact long angle. Yeah. Uh, chamber is, has the alarm, has the util all for that angle, just as you were saying. Chamber doing a, like, is a great player to either, you know, you can literally entry or you can watch flank. You can literally be so versatile with it. So we'll see what happens. St. Clair is just going to hold, though. Right now, St. Clair is in a good position where, hey, we're not going to make any kind of moves until Queens makes the move first. It's like chess, not checkers. Yeah, and Queens does put out the Seeker, so they are going to try to get some info on St. Clair. Oh. They are aware of the flank. Osco will whiff the shot, though. So St. Clair, Hybrid with a great kill on trip bars. And now Queens Gales going to have to run in there. Another two kills by Hybrid. Specimen will trade out Wombat. St. Clair, 3v3. Time is ticking down for Queens Gale. Again, Striker will take out Hybrid. Queens Gales might be able to take control of site here and get bombed down because... St. Clair a little bit split here, and they won't be able to uh, crash this all at once. Yeah, it's going to be Blossom, a big player to watch here right now, trying to just come through from the door. Actually, he does have a pretty decent opening if he yeah. just went through right now off this flash. There is the flash. There's the jet dash through. Now they have a little bit more sight control. Lupo, though, Ooh. has just this Osco angle, which is going to be so hard for him to try to get his way around. Blossom has creeped away through a lot of this site as well. The swing could be Ooh. big. It's going to be make or break <laughs> here on this swing. There it is. No trade there. Lupo will get the trade off. Now trying to hop out the bomb both players are way on the back line but that is it right there that util is going to be so big F fury striker on the alt there will win the round for queens 10-7 we've ourselves a little bit more of a game here now jobin yeah and that is the textbook definition of how to use the hunter's fury on a post sure. plant you just you know you have like 15 seconds left you have one guy left just wait to hear that tick delay th all three of those shots through the bomb and you're guaranteed to stop the plant and like there get a kill because yet like i said lupo has no choice it's the fuse or, or be killed anyways yeah, uh, pretty much here at that point. So now after the first 17, St. Clair went from having a five round advantage now to only having a two or sorry, three round advantage as they have been down in the half three to two. 
Uh, so they are trying to turn things around. We'll see what they can do. Lupo is going to activate the knives to try to find something over towards A main. And this is actually where a lot of Queen Scales is focused. So Lupo going to have a lot of pressure headed his way here very shortly. Yeah, he's going to have to be real, real in tune with that Bladestorm because if two or three guys come running, you got to get that left click ready to tap multiple heads because you do not want to lose the Bladestorm early in the round. And this is, say, this is a huge round for Sinclair. If they can win this, get the eco up, and get another ultimate online, they can easily swing this game in their favor. Blossom with a double kill. It might have been a collateral. Not sure. Twipwire is instead going down. Knives will take out Osco through the Trailblazer as well. Blossom picks up a third. St. Clair rolling on the site right now. And Specimen trapped in the corner. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to run. Saints know where he is. Shock Dart's coming in. They have his number. They know where he is. They just got to make the play. He will shut down Lupo. He will shut down Wombat. And he will get traded out by Blossom for the 4K. A little bit scary there for yeah. a second. Yeah. But St. Clair, Blossom. Blossom's got your back. He will hold it down. And St. Clair with a huge round win. 44 kills between oh. them two here now. 44 kills and 19 <laughs> deaths if you do put those stats combined with 10 assists. An unreal stat line here so far. They're looking to keep the ball rolling. They do pick up another round win, at least making this a 3-3 three to three half here now and regaining a four-round advantage. Now only needing two rounds to close out this game. St. Clair is in prime positioning. Yeah, and only three rifles able to come out for the side of Queen's Gale. So St. Clair could win this round. They could pretty much wrap this game up, I will confidently say. Especially, you have a, you can get to ultimates online. Queen's we will bring the blade storm online and that's i would say necessary at this point you have a really oh just gets out of the way in time let's say queen scale looking they're gonna have to try to make some push here wombat gonna own span through that door just to make sure you will not come through garage all oh, very low health though so just escapes with life to keep those shock darts and that information online but st clara say low on hp but Striker will take out Lupo, gets hidden by the chamber slow. Tripwire still with just two knives left for the Bladestorm, so if he whiffs one or two here, Asuka will get one with the headhunter. Oh, Tripwires. Just one second late of seeing him. He would have been a huge kill if he hit it. Specimen will trade out Casper in the mid. Tripwires will find Blossom with the Bladestorm. And St. Clair all on hybrid and uh, find a spot to hide. St. Clair is getting over aggressive on their defensive yeah. rounds. They did not need to peek a lot of those angles. They did not need to get so aggressive over towards A side so early on in that round. It's going to result in Queens finding a round win, unless the hybrid has yeah. some miracle of a play. But regardless, it is going to go in favor of Queens. And now, just as we were saying, uh, St. Clair, play back. Let Queens play into you. Uh, you do not need to really control the tempo of the game as much on the defensive side. So, yeah, let Queens walk into you. You find your picks and you dictate it from the back end. Yeah, exactly. Patience is key. And we've seen Queen Scale. Patience has almost been a hindrance to them some rounds because they take till like 15 seconds left to actually get on site and try to plant. So if I'm St. Clair, I'm going to really try to use that to my advantage and make them guess. I'm going to make them second guess the entire time they're trying to push up the site. I'm going to make them think we're flanking, we're going here, someone's in heaven. I want them to not have an easy push onto site the rest of the game. Yeah, we will see what happens. It is that uh, economy situation is pretty bad right now for St. Clair, resulting in a lot of these players using shorty, sheriffs, specters, whatever may be cheaper and that they can afford. The only thing is we have seen St. Clair win lots of rounds today with sheriffs, with shorties, oh, with specters. That short corner, Lupo. He has bad intentions with that shorty in this short corner. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't get flashed out here because this is such a powerful position. But I have a feeling Queen's Gale might be might be aware of this because that's a pretty pretty common spot to sit with a shock, especially a judge usually. Going to fake the orb again. Blossom will concede the orb this time. Doesn't want to get picked off. That's a smart thing, I think, St. Clair. Just like I said, let them play into you. You do not need to go get picks. They are playing offense. You are playing defense. Yeah. So just defend the sights and don't overextend and get caught. Yeah, so here we go. It is going to be the site of Queen still trying to find some sort of presence across the map. They haven't really made any full commit yet. Now, it's, they really, falling off C is so big for St. Clair, just allowing uh, the defense to hold in that long haul, knowing that Lupo isn't going to have any pressure over towards him here. Now, this A push is going to come through. Hybrid, lots of pressure on you here now. Rotation's coming through to try to help him out, but this is not going to be an easy retake or hold for Hybrid. Yeah, not a lot of time left. The Cosmic Divide will come in to shut off that Heaven Peak. Hybrid will get hit by the Trailblazer. Not in a great spot right now. Striker will take him out. He was double stun locked. There was no way Hybrid was getting out of there. St. Clair, not much time left, but they will, it looks like Queen Gale will get plant down. Casper with a huge kill on Specimen. St. Clair, even numbers, they have every chance to take this site back if they play it right. Yeah, the Astral Wall is going to provide some problems here. Lupo with the shorty still going to try to find some sort of an aggression kill. But here's the thing. Osco and Co. all playing very Ooh. far away. Playing these long angles, knowing St. Clair has a very big shotgun setup right now. But here we go. It is going to try to work out. Wombat will get one with the Guardian before getting traded out from Osco. St. Clair doing a good job of at least finding a few picks, but nowhere near enough to find a round win. Queens only trailing by two now. This is a game on our hands here, Jobin. Yeah, they're right back in at the economy. It's a, a lot more 
evened out now. St. Clair, a couple ultimates online, but not enough where you'd be super overly concerned if you're Queen Gale. And that was that was a perfect cosmic divide by, uh, who was it? It's Zed. That thing, you, you take out that Heaven Peak, especially with a guy like Blossom or someone with a Guardian just popping off the entire game. You're basically shutting off a player for 30 seconds on site, and that was huge. Yeah, uh, it proved to be huge with a round win for Queen, so... Here we go, round number 21 coming through. St. Clair will have a little bit stronger of a buy here once again, and they are looking to find round number 12 and move on to match point. Because if they don't, things start getting a little bit concerning here. Zed could almost spot out Casper. Casper barely squeaking through and will keep his life now TPing all the way back. Oh, Blossom going to get the door shot out from behind him, so it provides a little bit of a scary position for him. Dog is going to come through. Will spot out Osco. And uh, St. Clair, just play it nice and slow here. Now that you have a five on four player advantage, don't get aggressive. You have everything you need in your favor already. And you've killed an Astra. They have no utility to clear a site and take it right now. They have flashes and they have darts. They have nothing to smoke, wall, or block off St. Clair. So you have complete vision on site of Queenscale if you let them walk in. So if they hold really strong angles here, they should be able to close this out, assuming they don't get traded out. We'll see Blossom falling off of Garage a little bit, knowing that Queens has started to take a lot more of that control, and St. Clair does have a lot of players over towards CB uh, alleyways right now, which is going to be really big for their defense. They're heavily set up and prepared for this. Mm -hmm. uh, Queens, if they go A, it really would be big for them, because A is going to be the most open site that they can capitalize yeah, on. Yeah, B and C are a pinch fest right now if they try to squeeze through this. St. Clair looks like they are ready for one of these two sites to get pushed. Yeah, we'll see though. Honestly, it's the garage and long push combined is really going to be big. That Astra Smoke's also going to be huge to come through as it's now Lupo going to be shot off. Osco finding the first one onto hybrid. Astra for both sides down. How does Lupo not find one of those two picks? Osco with another perfect specimen going to find Casper. Now, just like that, a two on four next to Impossible Ooh. for St. Clair, but Blossom finding that first pick will change everything. Great recon dart to the Jet Smoke. Able to get Blossom that perfect one tap and St. Clair still in this now. Queensgale could activate the Seekers if they really feel necessary to try to fish out St. Clair, but I suspect they'll try to play this long angle. And hold. Oh, Seekers will come online. So Queensgale is fully committing to try to win this round. All the information they need, and St. Clair gonna have to try to, they're going to have to at least get one pick here before they try to do anything with this bomb. Blossom will get tripwires down. Oh. Wombat will take out Specimen. St. Clair looking pretty good right now. Wombat will there fight is. We'll take him out. St. Clair will take the round. That is huge for St. Clair. Wow. A Long round, range Spectre. They had like 15, 10, 15 seconds. And honestly, Queens had the setup of yeah, their life. It was like they, perfect. They, 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 but literally, I was sitting back in my chair without question sitting there. This is Queens round. Yeah, win. I was thinking. St. Clair yeah. is just in such a tough spot that it's so hard to win these three on fours, two on threes, whatever it may be. And result, St. Clair finds the round win, now leading by three. And on match point, they are in great positioning, especially because we do look at the side of Queens. They are getting a little bit dropped down on economy as well. So we'll see what happens. St. Clair, though, with a very big round win. Yeah, Queens Gales does have two ultimates. St. Clair does have the Cosmic Divide. So if, if Queens Gales wants to play another really slow push, that Cosmic Divide could prove to be a big thorn in their side if they wait too long. Wombat with a huge first kill on Tripwires. That is exactly what you need if you're St. Clair. Now, guess what? I'm going to sit back and you're going to play into me. I'm not going to overextend for a 100%. single other pick this entire round. Unless your name's Wombat, because Wombat yeah. is looking <laughs> to go all the way up and long. Even if he can just go and tuck in that like wheelbarrow corner or something like that, uh, it would just provide them so much map control just knowing that you have a player completely yep. shutting off a long. Uh, and now with Queens losing their jet already, they're kind of sitting back here now like, oh damn, we are uh, down 1-0 in the series. Uh, St. Clair's on match point. We have to win this round or else we are losing this game. And we're down a player. This is such a tough position to be in. Lupo also Ooh. in a great spot to find a few picks. And look at this, that dart gonna come through, gonna gain some more intel, and I mean, I just love Lupo's positioning here. Yeah, this, it's a St. Clair, they think they know the A push is coming, they're perfectly set up for it. We have Lupo, Lupo, ooh, this is gonna be really spicy when Specimen comes around the corner here. Let's see if he's aware. Oh, they look like they might, no! He will pick up one, Wanda will pick oh! up one as well. Lupo will get a second through the wall! That is a huge hold, Blossom gets the kill! St. Clair with 2-0 against Queens Gales. Wow, what a last two rounds. What a last two for sure. Queens came through. They were on a roll there near the end of that game. St. Clair, though, quick to shut things down and find it for themselves. That is going to be a 2-0 win. And now advancing to 1-1 one one in the NECC. And now Queens Gales falling to 1-1. One one. A very, very strong play coming through from the Saints. And a game that I was kind of anticipating to see map 3 on. St. Clair, 2 up, 2 down.
Yeah, after that little run Queen's Go went on, I fully expected. Like, they looked really, really strong. The, the patience play started to work off. St. Clair looked like they looked like they could feel the game ending, and they got kind of antsy, and they wanted to chase the end of the game, when real reality, you're winning every round by letting it come to you. Don't yeah. go chasing it. The Queen's Gale is giving it to you. You're, they're planting with 15 seconds. You don't need to go make a play. Like, they're taking such a long time. Just play into that. Yeah, St. Clair really realized that uh, Queen's was getting uh, kind of aggressive early on, and it was really punishing St. Clair's aggression, where St. Clair could just sit back hold an angle on one certain spot they find that first blood as soon as you find that first blood you take immediate 10 meters back in your positioning yeah. because there's no need to play so aggressive with that player advantage it makes things instantly harder for queens makes queens instantly more like cautious when pushing into things and it just overall will help you in the end of the day st clear with the win we do look at the scoreboard here real quick casper and blossom Oof. are our standout players for this one they are 48 and 24 combined with 13 assists that is just unreal blossom is got to be my most improved player in the last few months oh the and the most entertaining for sure for the sure. last two weeks has been not only a great performance what a show though uh, uh, on different agents too whether it's the sky popping going on the back of the trailblazers the seekers or he's blast packing over icebox we saw that earlier in the his day his raise is my favorite yeah his <laughs> raise is unmatched those the blossom blast packs are going to be a staple at this season i know it but the fact that he can easily switch to the sky which is like honestly a totally different play style because you're playing a character that has heels like information searching not all just like run and gun initiate duelist style so the fact that he can make the adjustment switch it and still contribute it's it's so amazing to see it really is so so amazing to see so to a win uh really gonna put saints back in a better momentum better headspace going on with the necc to move up now to one and one and get out of that bottom lower of the uh, division kind of territory so very very good stuff they did lose week number one to carlton so it is nice to bounce back yeah. from that one where queens did win week one against pristine and now dropping week two against the saints is interesting to see because this also does does give me confidence that we do play pristine going on here in the future yeah. so st Clair now knowing that they can beat a team who already beat pristine is very very big for them as well yeah it looks like we saw a lot of huge strategy adjustments and that's the biggest thing because the mechanics can always be worked on but Sanka looks like they have such a, like a way more sound game plan now for every round they don't look like they had a couple rounds here and there where they looked a little bit flustered or out of it but once they settled in they really got their defense down and they really played solid yeah, I mean, no complaints here from my end. I love seeing the switch up, having hybrid come in the game too. It really just helped utilize that Astra. You don't have VCAN with as much experience on the Astra yeah. compared to his Viper. So to see hybrid come in, yes, he might not put up crazy amount of numbers, but that's not what Astras are yeah. there for. They are there to send in the util. They are there to get all of these post plant setups there and uh, just basically stay alive and dump your util as yeah, the Astras pretty much. are used for. And hybrid did his job yeah exactly that's all you need just cosmic divide at the right time get those gravity wells in the right spot to cut off the flanks and everything and just deploy the stars when you're needed and that's exactly that's all you need out of an astra 100 so i next game i can't remember exactly who it's against it's west virginia west virginia is the next game for the saints coming up here next week will also be on monday but with that being said we have ccl tomorrow Ooh. and then rocket league on wednesday so there's a lot of good action coming up i know i personally will be around for a few of those so come tune in tune into some of those saints gaming ca on all socials to follow all of our varsity titles and our nightly matches that we have going on every single night of the week and uh, with that being said, let's talk a little bit about our giveaway we're running here right Ooh. now, Joe. I think, yeah, I think it's uh, 3,000 channel points in the, Twitch, in the Twitch chat. The winner will be drawn February 28th. Win some Saints merch. Say, just watch Saints Gaming, collect the channel points, and spend the points to automatically gain an entry. The Saints merch, I got some of it on myself. The jersey, super fresh, super comfortable. Everyone, I highly recommend. You get to watch some great action, and hey, win some free merch. Yeah, it all works out. But if you cannot wait and uh, wait for the February 28th giveaway drawn, you guys can go and purchase your merch right here, right now, today. This is going to be at acquire.ca backslash saints. We got the t-shirts, jackets, jerseys, crewnecks, hoodies, uh, masks, flags, uh, you literally any, anything you can imagine. Acquire.ca, all very comfy and all very affordable. Get your merch while you can. I do highly recommend it if you are looking to support the Saints team further. But uh, without that, I mean, I think that is going to be slowly wrapping us up here for the evening. Uh, once again, I just got to really say how proud I am of this guy's oh, yeah. the Saints Valorant team because Queens is a roster where we were going into this week saying, okay, this is not going to be an easy game. Mm -hmm. This is going to be two teams absolutely battling for a win. Saints taking it in 2-0 fashion just proves that they are that much more prepared for the season. Yeah, last week to this week, night and day difference. They 100%. look like an entirely new team, new mindset, new mentality, new attitude. Just everything looks like it's, it's coming together way faster than even I thought. Say it's a game where there's still so many different strategies and moving parts, but to see that week one to week two difference, I if they can keep amplifying on that, oh my god.
The yeah. sky's the limit. The sky really would be the limit in that no case. No pun so. intended for Blossom. <laughs> yeah, no, no pun, no pun. But that will be wrapping us up here for the evening. So thank you guys all so, so much for tuning in back home. You guys are the real MVPs here of this game. Uh, without further ado, though, my name is Jax the Pride Brown, joined alongside Daniel Jobin. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you all on the next one here tomorrow. Actually, the plant did come through. It was a fake. Ooh. So Blossom actually going to come in here now. He's going to jump down. He finds the player's rafters. That's a great start to the round. Yes, he does get traded out. Osko finds two. All up to Wombat. The one-on-one -on -one there on either side of this rafters. They both go up. That's going to be Osko with the ace to shut things down for Queen Scales. Wombat falling in a nice, nice effort. Osko down to 20 percent of the time. You're probably fine. Yeah, good for a pick there. or 85 to 90 damage immediately. Oh, a little bit of a different push here from Wombat. Good pick one up early. Tripwire is going down again. The entry jet has just, he's just been struggling this game. So far St. Clair has been ready for it this time. St. Clair, oh, oh Fiery Striker with a wall bang on Blossom. VK going to trade out. St. Clair with the edge. VK picks up. On this corner angle here. That's such beautiful shots through the smoke. It's going to leave the Soma there and open. VK will find it. St. Clair with a two round advantage and make it four rounds in a row. They are heating up here on Icebox defense. Not a whole lot Queens has been able to do. St. Clair playing back into a four before we will have to see. But St. Clair once again going to have to play retake here. Osco going to pick up Wombat with a Spectre. Zed going to trade out VK. Queen's Gales now has the edge. Blossom and Lupo gonna pick up two. Blossom with another one, and St. Clair will wipe out Queen's Gales and go into round and go into the second half up eight to four. That flank was do you actually decide to go into A right now? It would be a 2 a 2 That is Zed and Lupo getting some engagements Ooh. through. That is VCAN going one for one there with Zed and uh, Tripwires. Now leaving us into a three on three. But a lot of site control has been gained from St. Clair, and this is what's really valuable. But Osko gonna get ran up onto Lupo. Blossom line. His life. No, no. Perfect specimen will find that pick there. Now it's going to be the Rays being Blossom versus Perfect Specimen. Both players that have been having a phenomenal day here so far. Yeah, a little bit of Util on the side of Specimen. Nothing for Blossom, but just got to hold a strong position here and hold this bomb down and get out of here with the win. This is a, this is a big ground for St. Clair. You don't want to drop two, three in a row. Break in. Oh my god, Casper's such a good lineup oh. here as well. He's in a perfect position to find a couple kills up the top kitchen. Look at him playing so, they so have no slow. idea. So patient. This is so big from him here. He is going to find the first one there, and he will take down the Opera. V can't finding Zed. That is going to be Blossom for the cleanup, and a Keep the ball rolling uh, and uh, help it just, you know, it, it just proves that they've been closer to winning these rounds than, you know, just completely getting fragged out right away. So here we are. St. Clair going to be actually devoting all of their resources here towards B side right now in this round. Yeah, if I, I actually like this from St. Clair this time. They oh. haven't five push B. Blossom blast packs. Oh, well, and overall, the setup from St. Clair has been working out very, very successfully. Fire Striker going to be tagged down at 49. Oh, the Sage Wall could cause some oh. problems. The Diffuse is still coming through. They are able to take down Zed, but Fiery Striker able to find two of his own. Now trying to hop on the Diffuse. It's already been half. He's going to get chased out, though, from Lupo. Because as you see here, Lupo going to dash and immediately look for a pick. That Gravity suck. Gonna, the Gravity Wall going to pull in Lupo and Unlabel will get the kill. Jumping right click from Tripwires. That was a six shot. Lupo will trade him out. Zed and Blossom will trade out as well. Absolute pandemonium. And St. Clair will get the better of it and go up and get the plant down to get the rifle. So St. Clair looking to just take two or three of these rifles out of Queen's Gale's hand. The, at the best. Blossom will go into Trailblazer, try to get some information so they know that they're hung up on A right now. They're going to have to a little bit of split push into sewers and ramp here. Tripwires will get that top spot and take out Lupo. Oh. Takes out three. Three headshots for Tripwires and St. Clair. Two in great position to find their round number four. Yeah, I can't say it enough. The adjustments on both teams have been incredible. We know, like I said, Osco ran around and flanked, got a couple kills before. St. Clair now privy to that. Cut him off before he can get through mid. Zed going to get... Oh, no flash going to come in. Casper will pick up Specimen, though. And he'll pick up another. St. Clair will pick Very up... difficult for St. Clair to try to push in and to try to get some sort of site control as there it is. The entry's there, and they run into the sofa on the back line of sight. That is the offer down for Blossom. Blossom going to find a second, taking down Fiery Striker. And this now leaves it all up to the Astra of Queens. They are they, using some yep, util. One play Heller, backside bomb, and then St. Clair should be able to hold this. You, just, you have to make sure you trade out. Do not get in a 1v1. You have to trade this out if you get in a fight. Yeah, they're not in a good position to trade it out, though, here. Oh. And that is going to be the first one going down. Zed going to be here, but Blossom, oh my gosh, missing his first few shots. Zed going to have the upper hand on the gun by Blossom. Still right down to the left. The Seekers are there. The Seekers are going to pop. It lands on the player. That's a huge one for Blossom. The Seekers helped him out so much. Now, Seekers going to chase this player in Garage Window as well. St. Clair have so much intel on these two opponents. Yeah, perfectly timed Seekers. A amazing Cosmic Divide. Oh, just Lupo turns his head the worst second. Blossom gets another one. Hybrid will trade back on C coming from the side of Queens goes in St. Clair. Gonna do a split B and or B and C rather. Queens goes up. Looks like they're gonna commit this five push. I, I would be I'd be more than willing to guess. Especially already dashing on the site. They will. Huge engagement. Casper will pick up triple R to start the round. St. Clair with a great start to the round. Able to hold the site so far. Osco oh! getting jumped in the corner with a shorty by Lupo. Oh! 
Blossom really trying to open up this B site a little bit more. Is Casper on the flank? Will find himself one, runs into a second. Will find that one as well. Been so big all game long and continues to make these next level plays. Now we do have Zed going for the play. Look at this play from Lupo. You're a madman coming down. More intel. And I mean, I just love Lupo's positioning here. Yeah, this, it's a Sinclair. They're, they think they know the A push is coming. They're perfectly set up for it. We have Lup Lupo. Ooh, this is going to be really spicy when Specimen comes around the corner. Let's see if he's aware. Oh, they look like they might know. He will pick up one. Wanda will pick oh! up one as well. Lupo will get a second through the wall. That is a huge hold. Blossom gets...